My name is Kathy O'Brien, and I'm the Midwest Territory Sales Manager for Gamard Scientific. My background includes being a cardiac and labor and delivery nurse for more than 18 years. Our OB Suzy S500 simulator was first introduced more than 60 years ago as part of a global health initiative to decrease maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality across the world. Since then, OB simulation has truly become the gold standard for OB education. And you can find an OB Suzy S500 in nearly every corner of the world. OB Suzy allows for you to practice routine vaginal deliveries while also practicing the low volume, high risk complicated deliveries such as shoulder dystocia, vaginal breech deliveries, postpartum hemorrhage, forcep or vacuum assisted deliveries, and much, much more. The S500 is truly a hybrid simulator. It allows for use as a portable tabletop task trainer in demonstrating competency-based skills, while also allowing the possible incorporation of use with the pelvic model and a standardized labor patient actor in a bed, in a squatting position, or anywhere where the learning needs to occur. OB Suzy is very adaptable to the needs of the learner and the population it is serving. As you begin to educate with OB Suzy, you'll find that your imagination will allow for you to create more detailed simulation experiences than you may have even thought were possible. We at GOMARD are truly honored that you've chosen our product, and we are humbled at the thought of being able to assist you in helping to save the lives of mothers and their babies all over the world. The S500 Obstetric Suzy Simulator and Accessories are conveniently packaged inside a blue transport bag. The package includes an instruction manual, the Obstetric Suzy S500 Simulator, a male fetus with a detachable umbilical cord, a clear stomach cover used for demonstrations, a skin-like abdominal cover for scenario exercises, three vulva insert replacements, a female fetus with a detachable umbilical cord, two placentas, four umbilical cords, two umbilical cord clamps, and talcum powder for lubrication. Additional options sold separately include the S500.3 palpation module for Leopold maneuvers, the S500.4 labor delivery module, the S500.5 articulating newborn for Leopold maneuvers, the S500.6 postpartum suturing trainer, the S500.8 postpartum activity module, and the S500.10 birthing mechanism module. After unpacking the simulator and its accessories, place the torso on a clean, sturdy surface. Facing the upper part of the torso, manually unscrew the three wing nuts and washers. Then remove the back cover. The opening allows the instructor to manipulate the fetus to simulate a delivery. Please note that the back cover must also be removed to install the optional S500.10 birthing mechanism. To carry out an effective demonstration, there should be ample room for the learners to move around the simulator. You may install the clear abdominal cover so learners can peer inside the abdomen. Doing so will ensure that the learners will be able to relate the educational material with the simulator's components. The Obstetric Suzy Simulator is a great tool for running a labor and delivery scenario. To enhance the scenario's realism, Install the skin-like abdominal cover to hide the internal components during a delivery. Moreover, place the simulator directly in front of you as an extension of your torso. To demonstrate or simulate a vertex delivery, first ensure that the vulva insert is secured in place by the snaps. Choose either the male or female delivery fetus. Attach the umbilical cord to the red navel port on the abdomen and to the placenta. Lubricate the head, 
shoulders, and body of the fetus, and then lubricate the placenta and the inside of the birth canal. The umbilical cord can be configured to simulate a variety of cord complications, cord prolapse, true knots, and a nuchal cord. Secure the placenta to the hook and loop fastener located on either side of the abdominal wall. Alternatively, the placenta can be placed at the entrance of the birth canal to simulate a placenta previa. To simulate the retained placenta fragments, reverse the removable fragments embedded in the placenta so they adhere to the hook and loop fabric. During the simulation, the fragments will remain attached to the abdominal wall while the placenta is delivered. Position the fetus inside the abdomen and rotate it to desired fetal presentation. Lastly, install the skin-like cover or the clear cover depending on the type of exercise. The rate of the fetal descent and rotation are controlled manually by hand. For added realism, the cardinal movement should occur in intervals to simulate contractions. The fetus is equipped with a mouth opening to permit bulb suctioning. To complete the exercise, deliver the placenta and allow the learners to check for retained fragments. Obstetric SUSI can be used to demonstrate a shoulder dystocia complication and allow the providers to practice the techniques required to resolve a shoulder dystocia situation. To demonstrate a shoulder dystocia complication, move the fetus with every contraction until the fetal shoulder reaches the pubic symphysis. At that point, simulate an obstruction by presenting minimal forward movement with every contraction followed by a retraction of the fetal head. During the simulation of a shoulder dystocia scenario, the care provider can apply suprapubic pressure, perform rotational maneuvers, gaskin, and posterior arm sweep to facilitate the delivery. Obstetric SUSI can also be used to demonstrate a breech delivery by orienting the fetus in a feet-first position at the start of the scenario. You may also demonstrate the basics of a C-section procedure by unfastening the metal snaps just above the pubic bone. The opening between the abdominal cover and the pubic bone simulates a surgical opening for delivering the fetus. The optional S500.1 vacuum-assisted delivery module allows providers to practice a vacuum-assisted delivery using a vacuum extraction device. The vacuum-assisted delivery package includes one fetus with a smooth head skin to permit the suction between the fetal head and the vacuum device. To perform a vacuum-assisted delivery, first prepare the simulator for vertex delivery using the fetus included in the S500.1 package. Advance the fetus down the birth canal. Using the vacuum extraction device, create suction on the fetal head and gently assist the fetus to complete the delivery. The S500.3 and S500.5 palpation modules for Leopold Maneuvers option allows learners to practice skills for identifying the position of the fetus inside the uterus. Both optional packages include one elevating pillow with a squeeze bulb to raise the fetus and an abdominal cover with a squeeze bulb to adjust its firmness. The S500.3 package includes one fetus model with palpable fontanelles, spine, shoulders, elbows, and knees. And the S500.5 package includes an advanced fetus simulator with articulating limbs and a realistic mouth and nostrils for suctioning. To set up the palpation module, place the elevating pillow inside the simulator's abdominal cavity. Place the fetal baby in the desired position, normal, breech, or transverse lie position. 
Inflate the elevation pillow using the squeeze bulb to raise the fetus. Snap the cushion into place. The simulator is now ready for the providers to practice Leopold maneuvers. The optional S500.4 labor delivery module includes six inserts which approximate the dilation and effacement of the cervix before labor, during labor, and at birth. The six inserts included in the carrying represent the following. Prior to onset of labor. Cervix partially effaced. Cervix fully effaced. Fetal head engaged at plane of ischial spine. Cervix nearing full dilation. Crowning of fetal head. To perform a demonstration, first install the insert which represents the cervix before the onset of labor. Install the clear abdominal cover into place. Allow the learners to conduct a vaginal exam, noting the position of the fetal head relative to the ischial spine, as well as the dilation of the cervix. Continue the demonstration by exchanging the inserts to illustrate the labor progression. The optional S500.6 trainer package includes three postpartum suturing modules. The soft episiotomy inserts permit providers to practice suturing techniques using standard 00 or 000 chromic sutures. The trainer package includes one module with midline episiotomy with tears in the labia minora one module with a medial lateral episiotomy with periurethral tears, one module with a standard medial lateral episiotomy. The optional S500.10 birthing mechanism enhances birthing simulation by introducing a set of dilating services and a hand-powered mechanical system for moving the fetus through the birth canal. This complete birthing mechanism package includes the mechanical control system, a birthing fetus, two dilating services, one bottle of lubricant, a soft carrying bag, and an instruction manual. To install the birthing mechanism module, position the dilating cervix at the entrance of the birth canal with the ears facing into the pelvic cavity and secure it to the simulator using the two snaps. Facing the upper part of the torso, manually unscrew the three wing nuts and washers, and then remove the standard end plate. Lastly, install the new birthing mechanism and hand tighten the wing nuts to secure the new plate. To set up and demonstrate a vertex delivery, lubricate the fetal head, shoulders, the cervix wall, and the placenta using the lubricant provided. Attach the umbilical cord to the fetus and to the placenta, and then attach the placenta to the abdominal wall. Attach the birthing fetus to the mechanical arm. Manually advance the fetus by turning the crank clockwise. To adjust the rotation of the fetus, simply turn the T-handle to the desired position. The progression of the fetus will cause the cervix to dilate. The provider may manipulate the vulva to allow passage of the fetal head. Once the shoulders are delivered, the provider can deliver the baby and the placenta in the usual manner. Lastly, return the mechanical birthing device to its original position. The optional S500.8 postpartum hemorrhage module is designed for simulating realistic hemorrhaging with fluids and for learners to practice fundal massages. The package includes one elevating pillow, two dilating services, one postpartum uterus, one bottle of Gomard simulated blood concentrate, a simulated blood reservoir kit, and an instruction manual. To prepare the simulator for a postpartum hemorrhage and fundal massage scenario, position the dilating cervix at the entrance of the birth canal with the ears facing into the pelvic cavity and secure it to the simulator using the two snaps. Detailed instructions for installing the cervix snaps are included in the instruction manual. Place the elevating pillow inside the abdomen Secure the end of the uterus inside the dilating cervix wall. 
ensure that there are no kinks in the air and fluid lines, and lastly, attach the soft abdominal cover. Mix a portion of the simulated blood concentrate in water in a separate container. The solution should be diluted to a light color to minimize staining. To start the hemorrhage, connect the modified syringe to the fluid line and inject simulated blood. Alternatively, connect the blood reservoir to the fluid line and use the hand pump to circulate fluid into the uterus and out the cervix. During the hemorrhage scenario, adjust the firmness of the boggy uterus using the uterine hand pump to stimulate the effectiveness of the fundal massages. Clean the simulator after every training session using a dampened cloth with diluted liquid dishwashing soap and then wipe dry thoroughly. Please review the additional care, cleaning, and warning information included in the product's user guide. Thank you for watching and for choosing GoMard Simulation Solutions.